Hi, this is Dr. Don. A student asked me which to give him some examples of where Excel is easier and faster to use than StatCrunch. Here's one example out of Chapter 2, and it's problem 2.3.41, and we have to calculate a weighted mean. Now, I'll show you how to do it using Excel. I'm going to click on the little box there, and I'm just going to copy to the clipboard instead of opening in Excel, and then I'm going to copy and then close that. I'm going to go over here to my Excel spreadsheet, and then I'm going to paste that information there, and I've got now my scores, I've got my labels, and I've got percent of grades. To find the weighted mean, you need to get the weighted average of each of these, and so we're just going to get equal our score times the percent. Now these are not in decimal, so I need to divide by 100 and hit enter, and that gives me the weighted score for homework. And I'm going to drag this down to get the rest of the components of the final grade, and then all I need to do is get the sum of that, equal SUM, call it my sum function, and then highlight those, and hit enter, and that gives me my weighted mean average over here of 92.85. So let me show you something, what I like to do to set up my notebook. I'm going to use another function, equal F-O-R-M. I'll start typing formula, and I'm going to click on formula text. And the argument is just the cell that I want to reference. I'm going to hit enter, and that gives me the formula that's in that cell. Now I'm going to drag it down so I can see the formulas in all those cells. So that gives me a good reference for later on. Now I want to show you one reason why I say make your or create your notebook in an Excel uh, workbooks. I'm going to, I would save this problem and put some notes out here using screenshots as to what it is. But let's say you later on you, you have a quiz or an exam and you recognize a similar problem but it's got slightly different data. I'm going to go over here again, click on copy to the clipboard, highlight that in blue, right click to copy it, close that. I'm going to go over here and click in this first cell again and paste that new data in there. And because I saved everything, automatically it recalculates. There's my weighted average, which is the average over here. So it's a real lifesaver if you do it that way. Hope this helps.